Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Kami and today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play series in the game Palea. If you're enjoying this series, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more of my videos and content. Alright, with that, let's jump into the game. So I'm trying to think of what all we need to do today. And I know we need to upgrade our friendship. We need to catch that Spitfire Cicada and finish off the quest for um, Ani, if you remember. We needed to collect some items for a Lucky Charm for Bedru, just to kind of give him some confidence so he can perform or, you know, play the loot again. So that's kind of what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to finish that quest up and then we'll pick up a few more that we have um, lying around. So we'll start there. Or at least after we finish the uh, garden harvest of the day here. See how we're going. As we always do in this uh, channel, we always start our <laughs> start our day with a quick garden haul here. And let's grab, I think it's rice. Yeah, there's the rice, okay. If you remember, we got that preserve jar, or the preserve, a second preserve making uh, bin there, I guess. And so, I'm curious to see how that did for us. We threw potatoes in there, and we threw some tomatoes in there from our last uh, episode. And it looks like one of them is done, and the other one is still still working. So one probably had a little bit longer longer time, but that's okay. I'm curious to see what you know 24 hours kind of does for it. So this should be fun. Does that one get done? I guess so. It zooms in, you can't really see that bottom one too well. Which I don't mind, but I like the zoom in, but. Oof. I also think it's important to see the progress. <laughs> I think this is all we can harvest this time, which is fine. Doesn't need to be a large haul every time, I guess. Come on. Okay. What do we need to put away? <laughs> Darn stuff. How many wheats? Oh, this is rice. We got five rice. Got enough carrots to restock when we need to. I think we're good. Let's, so I think everything there is going to be sold. This here is all of our tomatoes. 1,500. We're not at a full 30, but 15, almost 1,500 is pretty good. I don't have anything to throw in there right now, though. That's the only part that gets me somewhat sad. Yeah. Don't really. And the potatoes are still going. So at 24 potatoes, we're almost looking at 2,500 gold. So that's almost 4,000 gold between those two items. Between 30 star carrots and 30 star potatoes. 67, 34, that's not bad. That's actually pretty darn good. Huh. It's actually really good. I'm kind of surprised. I may put these star carrots in there just to Get it going. I mean, I know it's not much, but there's only nine of them. But I guess any little bit helps, right? 34 versus, well, 34. Oh, well, it's a star quality. Okay, so it ups it to star quality. That's what it does. 23 to 34. And since that's 34, that's 34. It should up it probably by 
whatever our double star standard would be. <laughs> okay, that's kind of what it's doing. Huh. So, 5,000 gold. Not bad. Thirty, forty. I'm just adding it up and seeing. Yeah, it's okay. That's another thousand. I know that's not going to be much. Okay, let's. I'm going to save all of these just so that we have some extra focus. I'd also like to do some more furniture crafting. I would love to get through this home style set so we can buy the next set from Tish. That's the other thing I would love to do. And so. I think what we need is a lot more wood. I know we made a whole bunch of wood. And so it is nighttime. We cannot catch that cicada right now. In fact, I'm going to take one fabric to make um, some more bug bombs before we forget or before we, you know, accidentally use up too much. Let's grab some bug bombs. Grab some of those. Oh, we need clay. <gasps> we don't have a clay. We didn't get any from our garden gardening this time. Okay. So we're going to need to pick up a clay in order to make a bug bomb. That sucks. Because that means we're going to have to go and come back. Hmm. Okay. Oh well. We shall continue. Let's grab 100 planks. Let's start here. Let's make some, uh, let's craft some furniture real fast. Uh, escape, I don't want to accidentally, oops, eat some food. Because I have the habit of accidentally eating all the time. We can make the bookshelf. Let's do that. Mm, we can't make anything with clay. We'll grab this guy. Grab a clock. Let's do, oh, we can make the clock, okay. It's glass. Anything that doesn't look like it's going to require clay. Homestead floor cabinet. Huh. We can make the end table. We haven't done that one yet. Mm, we'll grab this. A sideboard. Here's the floor cabinet. Mm. This looks like fun. Woo! And we actually made the uh, I made some extra light bulbs, so we should be good. Let's see what that looks like. No. Again, I'm looking for the little green check marks. If you're wondering why I'm scrolling for looking. Don't have the, uh, the clay. Oh, we have a little bit more wood for the sideboard. Okay. Lucky for us. Got a bit more. Here's 36. Here's, oops, come on. Thought that was gonna give me another 100. Yes, not. All right. Thought it'd fill it up. That's okay. We'll use it up. Or we'll use what we can at least. That was the sideboard, if I remember right. Yep. Okay. Hmm. That's going to take a lot of fabric we don't have. That has the clay we don't have. I guess we're going with the wall clock. That's not, that's not a bad looking wall clock. Let's see. Sorry. Had to adjust my wrist. Alright, here's the standing lamp. Grab that. Do the chair, obviously. Woo! Oh, we can make the armchair. It's right there at the top. Let's do this guy. <laughs> oh, 
coffee table. Sure. Hmm. Well, we're running out of choices, guys. I guess we'll grab these. Woo! The jug. Cannot make it, but that's okay. We'll at least learn what we can. And we'll definitely grab that clay and we'll finish this up. Maybe not this stream. Maybe we'll grab the clay this stream and we'll do we'll finish up the set next stream. That might be the way to to go. We can make the wall clock. Yep. Oh, there's plenty more. Let's see, what do we think this is? That's an interesting shape. I'm trying to figure out what that shape is. What is it? Ah, uh, it's a ceiling lamp. Okay. That looks a lot like the ones in our uh, in our house right now. Well, that's gonna require fabric and some light bulbs. Can't do that right now. Can make that. Got the bench. That one. What else do we need? We need the wall shelf. Yep, yeah, let's make the wall shelf. Hmm, got this thing. A mirror. I wonder where we could put a mirror in the house. You make it. Ooh, that takes silver. Glad we made those bars and didn't sell those. Yikes. Oh, uh, got the loot. The loot. Maybe Bidru would want to loot. I don't think you can gift furniture, though. Sadly. Oh. We only have one. We only have one wood left? Whoa. Not only wanted. We only have one wood plank left, guys. That was a lot. Okay. So we'll put this in storage. I guess we'll take this here. We'll put another one in our thing as a placeholder. All right, we're all set up for next time. Oops. Right, what do we got? We got this armchair. I wonder if we put this armchair out here. Kind of a little thing right here. There we go. We'll kind of do something like that. Maybe we can move it back. Hang a little bit. Grab a chair, have a seat, chat with your friends. Good times. Let's turn off the grid. So we have this clock. I think we're gonna replace it. Let's see, we got eight. Ooh, yeah. That's a much nicer clock. Let's put that kinda, this light gets in my way. I can't quite line it up where I want it. Sure, we'll put it around right there. That works. I'll put this right there, just so I know where it is. Okay, and let's put six. Oh, that's too big. I was gonna say, hey, let's put a timer, you know, for the kitchen, a kitchen timer. That is way too big to be a kitchen timer. Hmm. Maybe we'll put it over here. Or, Put the alarm clock over here on the opposite side of the bed. That way we actually get up. <laughs> Put it right here next to the light. Now yeah, we'll put it over here. I like it better over here. There you go. And we got a bookshelf. Five. Is it empty? Can I actually put things on it? 
That's good, because if you look at the picture, it looks like there's books all over it. All right, let's grab our statues, because that was the one thing I didn't want to do, was have to worry about our statues. Oops. Let's put our bookshelf in here. angled, but I don't want it that angled, you know? All right, six. <gasps> Does it not fit? Oh no, it doesn't fit. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to put it over here. All right, I'm just going to place these and then we'll move them around and, uh, once I get them all out here. Oh, that is the bronze one. Okay. The bronze one there. The silver one. Kind of right there. Scoot this guy over a little bit. One. Is that kind of the same angle? That's the same angle. To proud of our trophies. We've got to show them off, right? There we go. So we got our trophies. We can talk about little candles, some stuff. That'll work. We've got a new end table. So let's move our lamp. Let's pick up our this table. Let's put down our new end table. Seven. Yeah, kind of goes with the theme here. And we'll grab our lamp, put our lamp back on here. So, let's see, what can we move? That's old, that's old. We do have that new wall shelf. That, whatever this floor cabinet is. We'll put all of our newer stuff over here. Let's do this wall shelf here next. Take this, take our cookie jar, grab this, and five is our wall shelf. That looks about centered, yeah. And then we wanted our plant. Four. Put it right there. And our cookie jar. Oh. Very narrow window on that cookie jar. It's may not fit. Maybe we'll put the cookie jar down here. We'll put the bottle up here. Can we free place it? Let's see. Yeah, I don't want it too close. Put it over there. There we go. I'll put the cookie jar. Put the candle a little higher up. There we go. We'll put the candle in the center here. And the cookie jar right there. That's how we'll do that. Better. Okay. And we got a new coffee table. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, it's big. But doable. Okay. Let's move our tea set onto it for right now. I do like this little bench. Not gonna lie, really do like that little bench. I feel like this is so close. There's that. Oops, okay, fine, we'll take that one first.
Put that there. This is the one that kind of scares me because this thing here doesn't ever want to move. There's that one. Maybe we'll do this one kind of like right here. this. I could put it at the end of our bed. I think we did that last time. I think, yeah, it looks okay. We could put it here against the wall. Hmm. believe we can't put anything on there. I wonder if the, uh, yeah, we'll put this by the bed. Not centered. There we go. I wonder if we can put the, this is more for curiosity's sake. Where'd that little jar go? Oh, I'm lost. There we go. Bedroom. <laughs> All right, that fits. So we could put little jars like this on there, which would be cool for like a little pantry thing. Hmm. Versus the pantry we have, which doesn't let you put much of anything in it. I mean, you literally can't do anything with it. in here. I mean, if you can't put anything in the pantry, you might as well, you know. Yeah. Could take some of these dishes. I do like having all the dishes there right now, though. Kind of makes this feel more more like home, you know. But we could put them on here. We could fill this up with dishes if we really wanted to. Actually, you know what we could do? Could take some of these. We'll put the taller ones back there. So we'll put that there. Grab this guy. Yeah. Back this up here so we can actually see a little bit better. Nope, this one up here. We gotta somehow arrange this so it looks like it's a little bit. Huh, a little too far. Not that I want it too far forward, but I do want a little bit more. That'll work. Hmm. No, nope, not going to be able to move it from there. Mm -hmm. Then we'll grab this big bottle, since there's no way that big bottle will ever fit on any of those shelves. We'll put the big bottle here. That's what we'll do. Put the flowers with it, just to kind of neaten it up a bit. There. Maybe we'll grab grab some of these here. Two together. 
They kind of look good together. It's starting to get there. We can put some things, you know. Maybe we'll take this bottle and we'll put it over here with this. That one closer and this one farther behind. Nope, it's not going to like me. It's not going to like me enough to let me do that. We can put those two together though. And put this kind of more in the corner. There. It's getting there. All right, we're going to redo all this anyways. I don't know why I spent so much time on that. I kind of got sidetracked because we have a new sideboard. So I'm going to move our soup. Put our soup over here. I'm just going to put our stuff over here. It's easier than the inventory because then I don't have to find it. Oh, come on. There we go. We are going to pick this guy up. Let's put this into our... Oops. There we go. And that's eight. Yeah. Kind of matches a little bit better. I feel like it's thinner than the other one. Don't want it on the hallway or covering the window. But if I go that far, it kind of doesn't look centered. So I guess we'll center it to the furniture and we'll move it later if we so need to. Center still. There. That should do it. Yeah. Oh, there's our gold. Now we'll reset up this. We'll reset this up. There we go. Put our soup there. One bottle. Two bottles. See, now I know how it's supposed to look. What idea we have. It's not too hard. There. Perfect. It's looking better. Now we got this. Oops. That's the lamp. Oh. Um. Hmm. Awkward. No. put this in here. So I mean, we can't put it anything anywhere else. It's not like it's really a bookshelf that we can use in the bedroom for trophies or anything fancy. It kind of fits more in the kitchen in my opinion. So we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna put that in there. I wonder if it would look better over here. Take the lines off. Put it right here next to the thing, next to this. There. That actually looks cute together. We'll just put, toss this trunk kind of, yeah, I like it right there. Inglet. So we're sleeping. Got that kind of a look. That's not too bad. It's slowly getting there, right? All right. Let's see, what do we got left? We got a mirror, we got a lamp. Lamp. Honestly, where that end table is, is where I want that lamp. We're going to move the end table to right there. We're going to grab the reading lamp. Where'd it go? Seven. We're going to put it back over there. There. It's 
So it looks something like that. I don't really have a reading nook in this area. Yeah, good enough. And the mirror. Hmm. I'd like to put it where this is, kind of right there. Maybe we will take this. We'll set it over here. It's kind of there. And then we'll grab this. We'll put our mirror right here. Because it kind of goes with the whole wardrobe thing. Should we move this lower? Yeah, we'll raise it up to match the uh, Z. Yeah. We'll match the heights. There we go. It's looking better. A little tall. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Yeah, we're getting there. All right, last but not least is this board. Hmm. Maybe we'll put this over here by this window. That person sitting there is going to have to really work on that chair. That's why it's pushed all the way in. No one wants to sit <laughs> next to that end. A lot of furniture, but I like this. I think this bookshelf looks much better in this capacity than over in the bedroom. Because we don't really have any books we can put on it, so definitely better. Better choice. Yep. All right. And we're going to put the cookies on the table. Because we need something on that table. All the tables need something. Got the empty set. Maybe a little closer. There we go. All right. Nice. Let's. Oh, shoot. Man, our garden's done. Let's water things. I don't know why this one's not getting any water. Gee. It does not have water boost. We need water. I wonder why. That's a little concerning. That means we messed something up with the garden. Hmm. I mean, even if it was wheat, wheat doesn't give water boost. Potatoes and something else gives water boost. Hmm. I'll have to look at that one. That one's a little weird. I should have 100% hydration. Because we're working fine here. That is wheat right there, right? Yeah, wheat. Corn. That, that, that. Wheat, corn, that, corn. That's a tomato. Corn, tomato, corn, tomato. It should just be a mirror image. No idea. No idea, guys. Well, we need that clay. Oh, we need to put the old furniture back into the inventory. Then we need clay. Let's go harvest some clay. We're going to talk to a few of the villagers as well while we're out. And 
if I find a Spitfire Cicada, we'll grab one, but I only got four bug bombs, so it might be a little tough. I'm hoping we can do it, but don't get your hopes up. Let's not get our, our hopes up, at least. If you remember last time, we caught the star quality one. And you know I like to save those star quality bugs and fishes. Um, I know you can place them out in the world. And one of the things I was thinking of doing was putting all of that stuff out, you know, making a room or something eventually for it. I think it'd be fun. I think we got one of you. I'm not gonna waste the, the buggy bombs. gather all the things. Want to check for the cicadas before we go to, or the dragonflies, the flame tongue dragonfly, before we head out. I see anything orange buzzing about. I think this is one of the better ways to go. Is that a chop on the corner? Nope, spice sprouts. That's fine. Looking for something kind of orangey buzzing in the field. Nope. That wasn't it. Last time we found it kind of close to the ruins here. Nope, nope. A lot of beetles. I know we're going to scare every choppa known to man here. While we look. That's okay. Yeah. Got crickets. See any? See a bug out there? Hmm. Nothing there. Probably another bug. Alrighty. I guess we're gonna run on through and grab the grab the clay. So I'm not seeing what we're looking for right now. Maybe if we come back in a minute or two it'll things will respawn. our pick here. We're just going to run right up and down the shore there and pick up what we need to pick up. Hey, Bedrew. These little, these little walkway arch things. Don't see any that direction. Nothing here. We're gonna roam this direction here. Apparently, maybe not.
We are looking for clay. We're going to try to stay focused while we're looking for the clay. <laughs> Probably should just grab everything, though. You didn't see that. Wonder. You can get gems from rocks and just about all the other ores. I don't think we've really looked to see if we can get any from clay. Is there anything under here? Nope. Gotta periodically check. You never know. You never know. Oops. Man, quit climbing everything. Probably one of those. We're gonna grab as much of this stuff as we can. There's a lot of little pots and pans and things we need to make, so we're gonna do that. on my clay. Dude. What the heck, girl? If you're not going to wait. They got all of this already. Well, that's too bad. I'm hoping to get some play. Oh, looks like we got a little bit of a respawn. That's feels so much better. Okay, it's getting worried there for a minute. We'll grab all the rest of our stuff now that we we aren't competing for the clay. For all the stuff in the area. Fine, I hope. Oh, even better. Let's come back. Oh, you can get quartz through the play. We 
we have a star version of one of those little pink ladybugs? Hmm, we're gonna have to look, because I don't remember. Is that something we're gonna have to keep an eye out for? So how much play? We got 138. It's getting there. It's not the best, but it's getting there. Yes, we are going to gather as much as we can. It is almost evening. Let's just see about that Spitfire Cicada one last time. Let's go head that direction. There's the farm. Okay, it's just right over the hill. Grab our little bug kit. Let's see what we can find. disappear once three o'clock hits if there's anything i think they're daytime only and that's technically when evening starts no which will keep them from spawning nope that was butterflies here, but I don't usually see him back this far. Oh, it's bugs. Beetles, beetles, lots of beetles. So we're gonna have to run through here a few times till we find one eventually. It'll take some time, but we'll get there. Actually, 3 o'clock isn't the time. 6 is. 
We had lots of time. Man. Maybe if we sit up here and chill. Maybe we'll find something. Hunting bugs. show up eventually. It's got it, right? It's just a matter of being at the right place at the right time. That's what I tell myself, at least. Let's see if we see anything respawn. sucks. Is that one? No, it was a butterfly and a beetle. Anything along the water here? Hmm. Not too much. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we tried. For a little bit anyways. Let's go turn in this clay. Let's make some more bug bombs. That way if we do see it, we at least aren't stressing out over it. Or we don't accidentally lose it. Bye, Spice Sprouts. I know I'm probably going to kick myself for... Oops. For not picking those up, but that's okay. Let's head home here real quick. Well darn, that was the big thing I wanted to do, was finish uh, Ani's quest there. That's too bad. I'll have to think of something else now. into the... Oh. Got some copper there. Put the iron in there as well. There. Put 100 in this one. Put 71 in this one. Actually, we're going to take one. We're going to take about 10. 11. <laughs> It'll be 10 when we're done. Okay. Quartz. How much is the quartz worth? 500 gold. How much quartz do we have? That's not what I wanted. I gotta not put this chest here. This chest has gotta move eventually. Let's see, quartz. Eight. We'll go to ten. That's what, 2,500? It's not bad. These gems are worth a lot, you guys. Absolutely nuts. You want some gold. Seriously, let's mine these gems. Hmm. 
Looks like we can make some more of this fisherman's brew, which I guess is better than the sum of its parts. That's what, 38? Eh, seven. No, it's not really worth its sum of its parts. All right, let's check the flowers. We got enough. Yeah, we'll sell all that stuff. Sell, sell, sell. It's not much, but how eh. much gold do we have? 18,000. Not too shabby. We're getting there. I think some more preserved jars would be nice. Do we mine all of our wheat and tomatoes, onions? Sure. Might as well, right? Well, actually, how much time do we have left on this? So this went from 34 to 51. Not bad. Got a lot left, though. But that's okay. We're gonna grab all this. I would like to put them in the preserves jar. That's why I was debating on whether or not to harvest. But we just don't have a spot in the preserve jar right now. Oh, we're good. Okay. Put that in there. I can put the regular ones though in there. Maybe I'll save them. Mm. Yeah, we'll do it for right now. Sheer curiosity. I think the tomatoes might be done. Grab these tomato seeds again. No. Are the tomatoes just going to stay here until I pick them? Until the done done? We've harvested these quite a bit and haven't had to replace them. Which, don't get me wrong, is great, but weird. It feels weird. If that makes any sense. We're going to put some of these in the jars. I think that's what we're going to do with the crops this time. We're going to give this a try. We need wheat. Wheat, wheat, wheat. We need to make some more wheat seeds. Wheat seeds. All right. Seed maker. I'll put all five in there. Oh, let's just gonna put it right there. All right. So we'll just do it this way. Split stack. Ooh, no. Split this stack. There's our five. Done. Now the wheat we can sell, because you can't make, you can't pickle wheat or rice. How much is the seed worth versus a, the actual crop? 49 versus 48. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna get much, are you? You're almost losing one. That's too bad. That was a thought. Right? Okay. Put those in there. Hmm. So what to do now? Let's make our extra bug bomb. We were going to do that. Oh, 
We have the glowworms. We could try the glowworm fishing. We could try to find a few things. We have 47 glowworms. Let's do it. Let's play with that. Let's see what we get here. Oops. There we go. Let's see if we can get some of these boy rays or giant goldfishes or something. Let's play, let's do some of the ones in Kilima Lake. The first one, I think we need to do an, whoops, I'm running into things, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anything? Maybe we'll do a check here for the, I don't think these show up at night though, the cicada, just in case. I really don't think they do. Thought every time I've seen them, they've been a day or a morning thing. Oh, you know what would tell us? You can find out right away. I know how to tell. If you've caught one before, it should show up. Let's see. In our achievements, our accomplishments, Bugs. Yeah, because we did catch a star quality one. There it is. It says found in fields. It actually might be found at night. It doesn't give a specific time of day. Where's this one? Hmm. Well, that one was only at night. No, I guess it doesn't give time of day on this. That's too bad. That one says evening and night. That one says morning and day. This one doesn't say anything. But I know the striped shell snail was kind of specific to time of day. this one was too just by you know how how we've seen it or when we've seen it you know daytime has been more when we've seen these oops oh there it is never mind I'm a liar I will take it hey we finished the quest All right, we can make the uh, charm now. We'll fish, we'll throw, what, five worms into the pond? Miller, Miller, blah, 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 blah. Mirror Pond. It's right here. We need to look for a giant goldfish. Let's give it a try. I think. might be able to find it. You never know. Let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can find this goldfish. We've got three fishing spots. We'll do five fi five worms. Should be fun. Nope. I think that's going to be a catfish. Do a stalking catfish. It's a different one. I think we're gonna get different fish this time because we're using different worms. So, that'll be good. It'll be something new for us, at least. Oops, come on. Almost died there. If that's even possible in this game. Bye. 
what? We should be able to add at least a couple to our collection. something different. Molted goby. Hmm. Definitely something different. I'm going to go back around towards the front there. Just see what we grab. Go on the other side of this. I see a spot to fish. Not that it really matters, but it could be fun. Oh, no, can you not go around there? We'll go right here. This will work. We'll just fish here. Let's see what we can catch. Another melted goby or melted goby. Modeled goby. M O T T. Not. Catfish. Is there any other spots that popped up? Nope. Two more after this. We'll get our worms down to 40. This was our last one. All right. Actually, we might have went one too many, but that's okay. Let's grab all of our ingredients for the Lucky Charm. And then we can be ready for Ani next time we see him. And then with the catfish, we're going to put away the star quality, the new ones. And maybe we'll cook up the rest? How much fish stew do we have? We have 18. Mm. Yeah, I guess we can cook up the rest. We did put everything in the lockbox, so it should be safe. I 
Yeah, we'll just grill it. We'll make we'll make grilled fish. fish away. The other one's just too difficult. <laughs> Alright. And fishies. We do not have one of those. And we do not have one of these. Yep. Okay. So. All the rest there can go. What do we need for bedroom? Music to my ears. One flow infused wood. That's the last thing we need. Lucky for you, buddy, we got one. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to put two of those in there. I think he only wanted one silk. Right? Yeah. Turn to Ani. Perfect. Let's sell all this. It's not much, but eh, seventeen hundred. Oh, it's got our wheat in there too. Still, we actually hit twenty thousand gold. Almost twenty-one. Not bad from where we came from when we were at like six. Let's see, what can we do till the sun comes up? We could fish. We need to fish. But again, the fishing just takes so long. I don't know if that's quite what you guys want to see or not. I mean, it is part of the game. It is the game. But, hmm. I don't know. Oops. Let's... We could... Let's take a look. Who's up? Oh, Jell. We got a quest to turn in with Jell. Ani's still asleep. Let's go see what Jell needs. Oh! So remember he was asking our opinion about the dress? And that was the dress for Kenyatta in the ball. And Kenyatta wants something edgy. Her mom wants something much more traditional and classic. And so poor Jell's kind of caught in the middle. So we had to talk to Kenyatta, which we did last time. So I guess we have we still have to talk to Jell afterwards. I think that's what this is. 90% sure. Someone could use a wardrobe refresh. Ouch. Are you here for a wardrobe refresh? I spoke to Kenyatta. Huh. So what did she say about the dress? She wants something edgy. Edgy. That direction's a bit broad, but I think I can work with it. Uh. Thank you, Kikami. You've been a tremendous help. Sweet. We got some silk. You may wonder why I continue to make my art if I continue to suffer for it. But tell me, does a sailor avoid the sea just because he knows he may get wet? True. Fair. I would love to see Tish get the appreciation she deserves. She has a liking for spiral shells and other pretty seaside trinkets. Perhaps you could give her some. Okay. But try not to dirty your garments. So we did that. Kenyatta's good. Really, we're waiting for Ani. Wait for that. Oops, that guy right there. He should be waking up here soon. He does have to. Maybe we'll go by the farm. Maybe we'll go fish by the farm. I don't know. There's that pond in the back there. 
Maybe we'll get lucky? We're in the lake. Actually, it's not really a lake. That's more like the river, isn't it? Don't need anything from the river. Yeah, we'll just head back to the lake. There's two, or the pond. There's two things we need from ponds, so might as well attempt. Since I figure out which direction we're going in. Here we go. Oi, a little lost there. Is there any piles? Chopper piles? There's one. Heartwood. Okay. So we must have got really, really lucky with that first... Our first uh, chocolate pile to get that recipe. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing here, but we're just gonna, we're gonna put the lion in till Ani wakes up. He's right there. We should be able to catch him. We can kind of watch for them. That is not what we wanted. Got our worms. All right, Ani, we're watching your treehouse. Ooh, this is a different one. Oops, stop. Go one direction. <laughs> Scarlet koi. Cool. Maybe another goodie? Yep. Another goby. Another gooby. Go. Come on, goldfish. Two more after this.
Then we'll see if we can find Ani. Is that fishing? No. I thought a fishing spot had opened up over there. Yeah, lots of gobies. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock the mic. Got an itch on my arm. This is our last one. Oops, come on. Don't get away. Man, that was terrible. We're not doing too good with these uh, golden worms. <laughs> or the glow worms. Alright. Ani, you still sleeping, buddy? Yes. do we have? Let's see. What skills do we need to level? Bug, hunting, cooking. Well, I don't want to do too much bug hunting. We can, uh... We can hunt some choppa. Well, maybe not. Now that I took out the bow, they're all gone. That's funny. to do. And we gotta level it. Um, if we're gonna level this, let's eat. Right? Might as well get the focus up while we do this. Oh, he's up. He's running away from us. No, Ani, come back. Buddy. He's taking off, isn't he? My goodness. Hey, I know those spawned all the way out here. Another one of those uh, dragonflies. Looks like Ash has a quest for us. We'll have to pick that up. Haha. <laughs> yes, stop. I can always make some time for a buddy. Could you do me a favor and get my camping stuff for my treehouse? Oh no. I need to get out of the village for a bit. Ah. Here's the key. Sure thing, little dude. Thanks. If you run into my family while you're at it, do me a favor and tell them you're like, help me clean up or something. <gasps> Once you got my gear, you can drop it off somewhere for me. There's an abandoned campsite near the beach in northern Bahari Bay and some cool ancient ruins right by it. You can't miss it. Uh, that seems a little odd. Let's see. I got stuff for the charm. Yeah. Awesome. And I've got a lock of dad's hair. You sure we won't get arrested? Okay, this is harmless. Uh, Let me just wrap this around here. Okay. Uh huh. Um, what was that chant again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Higgly, piggly, pecky, and stew give my dad confidence in all that he do. <laughs> what now? Uh, well, I had to make some adjustments to make it fit and rhyme, but I'm sure it's fine. Yeah! Now we'll give it to him. And I'll let you do the honor since you got the ingredients and all. Sweet. Let's check. I wish I could talk to Nayo about my dreams, but he wouldn't understand. The only thing he's wanted to do his whole life is raise Ormus. I've been trying to get a garden snail, but I can't find any. Well, that's because you're looking in the wrong spot. I gotta go beat Nayo at card. Alright, go for it. Let's go find, oops, let's go find Bedrew. 
And let's give him the good luck charm. We'll see what happens. Or the confidence charm. Not really good luck, more confidence. Is he over here? Nope. There's a cricket. I'm always on the lookout for bugs. But true. Here's the good times ahead. Welcome to the Daya family farm. We have been missing you. Bonnie and I made you something. Now you're teaming up with my other son? Is it my birthday and I just forgot? Nah, if it was my birthday, there would have been a cake. Huh? Not to lick a gift to Ormu in the mouth, but, uh, what is this thing exactly? It's a confidence charm to help you play. Well, I'll be. Ani helped make this. I didn't realize he wanted to hear me play. I think I'm feeling more confident already, just knowing I have the support of a friend like you. Thanks, Keikami. I think it's time to throw a little reunion to her. <laughs> Let's chat. I've been practicing with my own with my old Ankarina, and I was wondering, do you think Ani might like to play? It would be a fun father-son thing we could do together. Yeah, he might let that. You really think so? I'm gonna make him an Ankarina out of clay for his next birthday. I think you should. Huh? I've been having a real hankering for potato soup. Unfortunately, I've had to sell most of my potatoes this week. Also, I dropped some while practicing my juggling. <laughs> You're the one with all the juggling books everywhere. I'll have some new material for you next time. I'm on to you, Bedrew. All right, we got that done. Now, Ani wanted us to pick up some camping gear in his tent, which seemed interesting. So. Or, or really just kind of weird. So we'll have to see what's going on there. Let's go check out Ani's tent. Or his treehouse. Oh, it's so cute. I like it. Looks like it's all makeshift. Oh, I want the hammock. We need a hammock. <laughs> the hay burials. <laughs> we can read a book. Reina and the Silver Shoes. Once upon a time, there was a bright little girl named Reina. Reina loved to dance and dreamed of one day dancing among the stars, but sadly the stars were too far away for Re and Reina was too little. She asked her mother, the village shoemaker, Mother, how can I dance with the stars? They are far away and I am far too little. Mother told Reina, to dance among the stars, you must make the right shoes. But... How could I make such shoes? You mustn't make them with flow, her mother replied with a smile. Unfortunately, wait, you must make them with flow. Okay. Unfortunately, the moons were jealous of Reyna. Look at that girl dancing. If all the people watch that girl dancing all night, they'll never look at me again, said Ignis. Must be one of the moons. So the jealous moon took the girl's silver shoes and she fell and fell until she wound up where she is today as a cluster of constantly dancing stars. Oh, that's a cute story. <laughs> there another book. Is this the same book? No. Juggling 101 by Sir Roderick Pennybottom. Volume 5, Fire. If the danger of knives isn't enough for you, then might I suggest moving up the next step in juggling fire? The technique for fire juggling is very similar to the method for juggling knives. Sub in blades for torches and voila! Wouldn't you want to sub torches for blades? I'm confused. So anyways, just be sure to practice this particular trick outdoors and not in a tavern with a thatched roof. That is, unless you want to be hunted for arson in 10 of the 12 provinces. I don't know. Maybe that's your thing. If it is, go for it. Who am I to stop you? All right, let's grab his camping gear. Oops. Okay, so you go out through the trap door. 
is a cute little place, though. So where do we gotta drop this camping gear off? Where did it say? Mm, quests. Intense. Abandoned camp campsite. Then we get a jewel wing dragonfly. Okay. I think he said it was in Bahari Bay. So we're gonna head that direction. Grab some garlic. Oh, there's Ref. Oh, mm, hey. I knew you'd be back to see me. I tend to have that effect on people. Hmm. Usually, I usually bring dinner over for Tish and Jell after work. It's basically the only time I get to see them. I'm running kind of low on sweet leaf, and by low, I mean I'm totally out. I'm not pointing any fingers, but some of my customers have a major sweet tooth. <laughs> not me. I'll see you around. Okay. All right, let's head. We'll go through the village. We'll talk to whomever we see. Bonnie again. Is there any sub quests on here to like talk to his folks? No. Or like Nio maybe? I feel so bad. This direction. Okay. Or the mountain, I should say. Not the road. Oh, Philippine. We'll go this way. Sometimes you see Eloisa over here. Nope. Not today. Apparently, not today. Grab the mushrooms on the way. We somehow got some blueberry seeds. Nice. <gasps> All we need now is an apple seed and we can upgrade our farm. Oh, let's talk Just to the sun. Once. There's still much for me to learn about your kind. Oh. I like spending time at the lake. It's very quiet here, usually. Oh. Antlers are becoming so popular among the humans, I'm struggling to keep them in stock. Oh. Perhaps you wouldn't mind helping me refill, refill my supply. I would be grateful. All right, regular sure antlers. Do talk a lot. That's how. Arr. Chat. Arf, arf, arf. Let's play. Ruff. Peekaboo. Ruff, woof, woof. Pant, pant, ruff. <laughs> there we go. Really quick. Okay, so our thing is at 235. We could put another 100 focus in, or 100 into both our focus percentage and our focus amount, too. They'll cost 100 renown each. But we're kind of in opposite directions right now, so maybe we'll do that on the way back. Let's figure out where would Ani like to camp. Maybe we need to add it to our tracking bar. Let's take that one off and let's put in tents. Is there a spot? I think it's this one. 
Okay, so he's all the way over by the statue garden. <laughs> Is... Nope, Nezuma's not up yet. Maybe we'll catch Nezuma on the way out. We'll see what she wants for the week as well. Just looking for chopper piles. You know what we need to do? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. We need to chop some, down some trees. We only got one... What? Sapwood. I like these orange trees. I'm hoping we get some... I don't kill the one by their house. Um, I would like to place these on our plot. So we'll grab a couple of these. pretty quick. 48 already. Can you believe that? What's this? It's a different looking one. It's not star quality, but kind of changes direction a lot. Come on. Come on, under there. I don't know where you went. There you are. Takes a lot of bug bombs. There we go. Probably should have held out for a star quality. I'm not gonna lie. Oh well. 98. Let's close. There we go. Lots of room. Where's Hodari? Oh, they're all up. We aren't that far. Let's go talk to both of them. Juma's walking around the lake the long way. Okay. Figures. There she is. Not a lot of people come out this far. Some think it's boring all the way out here, but I like it. Aww. Do you ever fight with any of your family like I fight with my dad? Well, I came from a void. I don't have any family. Oh, I... I'm sorry. As much as I get annoyed, I don't know what I'd do without my dad. If you're looking for presents for my dad, he really likes choppa tail decor. Ugh, kind of wish I didn't say that. I think the disembodied animal parts look is pretty tacky. I, I should get back to my, um, uh, thing. You okay? Let's find Hodari. Let's see. Where is he? He's going this way. I figured we'd better talk to these people while we can. Go on. The walk from Bahari to Kilima is nice most days. Too bad today, most days. Looks pretty nice to me. I know I ain't a perfect father. Najuma seems matter. Matter and not these days. Matter than not. Mm. But if anything happened to her, I don't want to think about it. Yeah. If you get some, if you get some extra copper, would you mind sending it my way? I could use some for the supports I'm working on in the mine. Okay. I suppose I'll be seeing you around.
All right, let's go put uh, let's go put away Ani's camping gear. Poor kid. Fourteen. Let's see if we see anything cool. Ooh, a float tree. We found a float tree. Chop this thing? Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. There we go. Ooh, party D. There's anything else too entertaining over here? Ooh, there's a star quality one of these. And I said we'll level up this bug catching thing. It's not running away. I'm wondering if it's bugged. Oh, there it goes. Oh, never mind. There it went. Maybe it wasn't bugged. <laughs> well, I remember last time we had so much trouble with, like, some of the deer. They were, like, not taking any damage, and... Yeah, it was just weird. It was a weird situation. We, we ran into a lot of bugged uh, deer. So. I thought maybe it was going to be the same way with... Uh, Grab the garlic. I thought it'd be this, anyways. I thought it'd be the same way with that bug there. That's what I was kind of alluding to. Hunt um, deer as we come across them. Just one. Because we really do need to upgrade our tools, especially the bow. The bow and the belt, they're our lowest two, so we, we really do need to work on those. Man, this deer's just gonna run forever. All right. Whoops. I scared it. And there's a bunch. And there they all go. <laughs> we'll just shoot him from a distance. That we can do. They don't seem to run as far. You notice. Is that one bugged? There we go. Got one. There we go. Talk to Tamala real quick. And here I thought I was all alone. Enchanting to see you again. 
Did you know your people were said to have possessed great power? T tales tell that they could even defeat death, if you can believe it. If you see a lunar fairy moth flutter past, would you mind catching it for little old me? I've been working on a special brew that requires such an ingredient. Okay. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They might. Never know. There we go. There's three. A lot of hide, a lot of meat. Hmm. I'm gonna gather some stuff as we go. Oh, shoot, there goes our stuff. Yeah, we didn't get that one anyways. Did we get this one? Nope. We could eat three. There we go. Grab some more of that. While we continue to hunt some deer. There we go. Did we ever get one of those antlers? We have not gotten the antlers yet. campsite sure is far. Oops. Sorry, just kind of keeping an eye out for trees and stuff. This tree looks cool. Alright, let's, we cannot do this on our own. Whoops. Let's mark this on our map since we did ta touch this. Come on. Can I not mark it on my map? I have my map marker. Drop waypoint. Oh, there it goes. Don't know. It's one of those guys. Let's see, it's gonna be around here somewhere. Probably around this cliff. I know. What is that? Oh, it's those. Follow the marker. Oh, is it this? It's highlighted. Must be around here. Yep. Right here. Drop off camping gear. There we go. Probably just need to talk to Ani now. Run away, little buddy. Who'd deliver the mail? Plus, thank you, you're cool. <laughs> my tree? That's my tree. No, actually, that's a different tree. The one we marked was over there. There's no way we could get that on our own. Hmm. Where are we? Don't know how to best describe this location. But there's heat root. I guess we'll get the heat root. Yeah, we'll 
we'll let it go. Wish we had a group. We'll listen for any callouts around the area. Yeah. That one. That one. Maybe we'll come back and pick it up if someone calls it out. That'll tell me there's at least another person here. Besides, we only got one spot left. Oh. Is that a good one? Nope. Oh. There's a deer. It's gonna troll me. I guess they got it. They coming? Where'd they go? You. See if we can get them to come. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Looks like someone did get that one. Yeah. Is anyone else gonna grab it? I can't kill it, so. Let's see if anyone wants it. Oh, they're gonna get it? Yeah, here we go. Trees. We need that fluid. We need all the fluid we can get. If you're in the right place at the right time, it works for me. Oh, there's another leaf. go back and talk to Ani. I think that's our next step. So let's let's head home. Let's talk to Ani. And see what's going on. Yeah. Let's go find him. It's just easier to go this way. <laughs> Definitely faster. There he is. Let's go talk to him.
money. You're on too quick, dude. You going on a big adventure? Have you dropped off my camping gear yet? Uh -huh. Remember to set it down by that abandoned campsite near the beach in Bihari Bay. The one by those super cool ancient ruins. You know it when you see it. And whatever you do, don't tell my family about any of this. Got it? Oh, He's running away. Your camping gear is all set up. That's sad. Ah. Sweet, thanks. But before you go, could you maybe teach me how to properly roast a gillyfin? What do you need this stuff for? Ah. I just need a little time on my own. Is that so wrong? I'm here if you need to talk. Uh, what would I need to talk for? Everything's fine. Uh -huh. Anyways, thanks for getting me my me the gear. I'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, and before you go, take this super awesome fire-breathing dragonfly I caught today. Take good care of the little guy for me. Aww. Promise you'll come back? Promise you'll come back. That's sad. Don't go, buddy. Delilah, we got chat. Glad you stopped by. Boys keep telling me to take a break, but who has time for that? Ah, oh. it's so nice to finally have fresh veggies for dinner. You should stop by and try a bite of my famous roasted carrots. After all, I wouldn't have been able to make them at all if you hadn't taken care of the cricket situation for me. Oh yeah, that's right. What would you like this week? Oh. Try as I might, I can't get Ani to eat his vegetables. Fruit, on the other hand, he can't get enough of. If you happen to have an apple, maybe you could bring him, bring it to him on his mail route. Okay. Today has been quite the grind. Oh, do I see Bedrew? Bedrew! I talk about your boy here. Got time for a tight five? You might be a big dill around these parts, but but I bet I can teach you a thing or two about farming. I'm always blue when you leave. Nio. Welcome to the village. Is it just me, or are we seeing a lot of each other? Nice. Hey, you've been getting pretty good at gardening. Isn't it nice to be able to provide for others? No one goes hungry with a farmer in the family. I was tilling the fields yesterday, and my hoe broke right in half. I could make another one if I had a stone brick. Okay. You want to learn about farming? Ask my dad. None of them have anything. Bummer. Bonnie, I feel bad. Alright, I guess we'll go home and we'll put all our stuff away. And I guess we're waiting for next steps. I mean, I know the quest got done, but there's got to be something else, right? We got to talk them out of it or stop them or something. Nio. I think we're gonna put our stuff away and we'll continue Ani's quest next time. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's grab this. Let's put the bug in there. Oh, this is the hopper thing. Here. Jewel wing dragonfly. We don't have any of these yet. Bug wise. I think that's a new one. Yep. I don't think it's going to show that we caught it, though. We don't have any bees, either. Yep, that one. We didn't have the other one. Did I put it in there? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, a supreme smoke bomb. You never miss. 
We'll have to save those. Those we might need for a very special occasion. Save the silk. Sell, sell. Do we need the spice sprouts? Seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten. Heat root will definitely save, right? Yeah. Garlic for sure, because we're always running low on garlic. How are we looking on 57? Yeah, we'll keep that. We're gonna make the wood. Let's put this away. We may grill the mushrooms. And the koi and the gobi. I think all those are gonna get. We're gonna get rid of those as well. All right. Oh shoot, we gotta water our garden yet. Mm. Maybe we'll save the meat for right now. Eh, maybe we'll take it out. I can't decide. Now we had some leather going in here. We'll add the other 21. Once this hits 50, we'll sell the 50 and we'll keep whatever's left. Let's water the garden here. some weird water issues all of a sudden. I don't know quite why. This shouldn't be happening. Unless something really got messed up. Everything should have water retain. Yeah, water retain. It should be good. So I don't know what's going on here. Kind of weird. There we go. But, needless to say, it's all there. Alright, let's sell the weeds. And we'll put the garlic away. 1700, not bad. Alrighty. So I think we're going to call it here, and next time we're going to talk to Nayo, and hopefully we'll continue on with uh, Ani's quest. I have a feeling these two, him dropping by is connected, so hopefully we can talk Ani out of what he's doing. Alrighty, so I will catch you the next time. Thank you so much for watching my video, and talk to you later. Goodbye! Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content as it greatly helps out my channel. Hope to see you soon.